Hi everyone, it's Eva here with another Sims 4 speed build and for today's video we are going back to the beginning of this channel sort of because I did a lot of builds from TV shows and films relatively early on um, for example Harry Potter stuff and friends sets and so on and I've not done one of these in ages, mostly just creative builds so I've decided to build the set of the TV show Sherlock so basically 221B Baker Street. Um, I had the idea to do this because I was re-watching the show again after many, many years, I think like six or seven years when I last watched it. And the show is so, so good. If you haven't seen it, definitely make sure to watch it, especially if you're a fan of Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson or just crime shows in general. But yeah, this is the modern version of Baker Street uh, and how it looks like in the show, because that's set in our, times i think in the 2010s rather than in the victorian times like the original so basically i built two houses on each side of number 221b to create like the effect of a real london street but i left those unfurnished and undone inside so they're basically just facades and the top floor of 221b is also dark because for some reason the house they used for the show so like to film the exterior has four floors but I could only find like floor plans for three of them so yeah um I kept that dark but yeah literally everything in this house is as close to the actual show set as possible there's a really cool thing I discovered on google maps you can basically 3d view the main room and kitchen from Sherlock it's really cool because you can basically walk around the flat Plus it was really handy for seeing the furniture and the details. There is so much clutter in Sherlock's flat, but I'll get to that in a bit. So anyway, on the ground floor of 221B, we have Mrs. Hudson's kitchen and bathroom. They are both very simple and relatively old. In general, I think the style of the entire house is quite old fashioned because it's quite an old house and I think Mrs. Hudson is just renting it as it is, except obviously Sherlock's room is a little different because he's quite eccentric. So there's those areas are on the ground floor and then there's also a sandwich shop called Speedy's, which is right next to the entrance and actually exists in real life. You can visit that in London. I think they filmed like one scene or so inside Speedy's. It's like a little cheap diner in regards to like the tiles and the colors. Oh, and also in the full tour at the end, I'm gonna show you reference pictures of the actual locations and sets so you can get a feel for whether you think I did a good job <laughs> and whether I got them right. Um, and if you think I did, or if you have any ideas for improvement, do let me know in the comments. But I really hope it's gonna be like recognizable to some of you at least. <laughs> And then on the first floor of the building, we have Sherlock's living room, kitchen, bedroom and bathroom. Sadly, there isn't much footage in the show for the bedroom or bathroom. So I had to basically make it, make it up myself mostly. Um, but for the living room, like I said, I was able to use the Google Maps 3D thingy. And let me tell you, Sherlock's room is messy as hell. <laughs> I couldn't even get it close to how messy it actually is. Um, there is so much stuff lying around, books, folders, like piles of books. Nothing is neat at all. But yeah, Sherlock owns a lot of books and sciencey things. From me saying sciencey things, you can probably tell I don't know much about science. <laughs> there is a lot of like research stuff, um, lab stuff. Uh, it's super cluttered, but not with like normal clutter. Like in a normal family home, there's very different clutter, especially in the kitchen. But yeah, in the living room, there are a lot of fossils and rocks and weird nature things like this skull um, in like a glass shelf um, from the vampire game pack. Sherlock seems to have an obsession with skulls. <laughs> Lots of like detective equipment, like for example a magnifying glass from kid stuff I believe, I'm not sure, but, and a map with clues and lots of files lying around. I think he uses his flat more for work rather than actually living there. I mean, I can't imagine eating next to skulls and weird science experiment stuff if you ask me. <laughs> By the way guys, if you're enjoying this video and would like to see more speed builds like this one, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We hit 600 subscribers like the other day and I'm super, super happy and grateful. Really, really appreciate every single one of you. 
So back to the build, the kitchen is an absolute mess in my opinion. It's not really a kitchen, it's more like a lab. Um, there are a lot of like vials and jars. I imagine they're filled with lots of weird human body parts. <laughs> so that's why I filled the kitchen shelves with a lot of medical and sciencey stuff rather than normal kitchen clutter like food related items. <laughs> it's really fun. It's very, very different to normally. I honestly don't think Sherlock or Watson ever cook in this kitchen. I think it's more likely Mrs. Hudson makes dinner for them. By the way, I also created Mrs. Hudson's and John's bedroom upstairs, which we'll get to in a sec. But yeah, I created Sherlock's bedroom and bathroom off of my own imagination and obviously like the floor plans that I found online. Um, same goes for Mrs. Hudson's bedroom. Well, it's more like a living area, I guess, because she has her living room um, and her bedroom in one. She's obviously a lot more tidy than Sherlock and it's a lot more feminine. I added a lot of like feminine touches to the room by putting lots of flowers. If you haven't noticed, there isn't a single plant in Sherlock's flat. I assume he'd be unable to keep them alive um, like me. <laughs> and then John's room is quite simple and minimalistic. Again, very old fashioned because it's just a normal rented room. He's downstairs with Sherlock most of the time anyway. The speed build is coming to an end now, but the promised tour is coming up with all the reference pictures. And you also might spot John, Sherlock and Mrs. Hudson. I did not create them myself. They're from the gallery and I'll link the names of the creators in the description. I really hope you enjoy and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.